There are three basic states of matter and it's important that you're able to describe the properties of each state. So here are three diagrams of a solid, liquid and gas. And here are some keywords and descriptions. So let's first of all just number these up so we can easily add the descriptions. One, two, three. Okay, from these three, um, which ones can move quickly in random directions? Well, solids cannot move in random directions. They're actually vibrating around a fixed point. Uh, so that's actually number two, isn't it? Vibrate around a fixed point. So there we are, there's number two. Which ones move quickly in random directions? Well, that's a gas. They're moving pretty quickly, these molecules and, and atoms of a gas. And number three is moving around each other. They're moving in a liquid. They're moving around each other in a random fashion, sort of slipping and sliding over each other. And this means that liquids can flow. They can flow and take the shape of whatever container you put them into. So let's look at the next ones now. Uh, randomly arranged particles. We'll call that four. Which ones are random? Well, not a solid. Those are pretty regular, aren't they? So liquids are random and gases are randomly arranged. So if we call that number five, regular pattern, that's a solid. Regular pattern. Okay, and then lastly, let's take a look at how far the particles are, are spaced. Um, from each other. So uh, number six, which ones are close together? Well, solids are close together, very close together, um, and therefore very difficult to compress. And so are liquids, actually. Liquids are still very close together, even though the particles are moving around each other, slipping and sliding over each other. Which ones are far apart? Well, that has to be a gas. It's very well, it's not easy, but it, it's much easier to compress a gas. As they are much further apart, we can bring them closer together. And so those are the descriptions for the three basic states of matter. Notice that the density of solids and liquids is much more than that of a gas. And density of a solid is usually, much, is usually more than that of a liquid. I say usually because the exception to that is ice, which is actually less dense than water. But most solids are more dense than liquids.